Welcome to Vico TV, your source for information about the student life here at Vico. Today we have a special program for all of you new students about adapting to life at Vesalius College. Welcome to Vesalius College. We're here to tell you a little bit more about Vico, the city of Brussels, and their cultures. You guys probably just arrived in Brussels. We hope you had a really nice trip, but do you really know what to expect? Well, that's what we're here for. Vesalius College was founded in 1987, right here in the VUB. Our student body isn't that huge. We have around 300 students. In this small population, you'll find over 50 different nationalities. This provides our students with a truly unique experience in a culturally enriching environment. We have a large amount of study abroad. Most of them are from the US. Everybody has to adapt when they go to a new school, but this is especially true at Vico. We've experienced this ourselves, and we've heard it from friends and classmates. So why do you have to adapt so much when you come here? We think it's because of the large amount of cultures that come together here. With so many different nationalities coming together, everybody brings a little piece of their culture with them. This does not only go for the students, but for the professors as well. This is reflected in the educational system. It is not a typical American liberal arts college, but neither is it a typical European university. It's somewhere in between. What's also very special about Vico is its location. Brussels, as the capital of Europe, is home to people with many different nationalities and cultures. You can see this in the European institutions and in the multinational corporations as well. And of course, Brussels is still in Belgium, so it's influenced by the Dutch-speaking part as well as the French-speaking part. Let's hear how students actually experience this clash of cultures. Yeah. Uh, actually, I found it hard to adapt personally because it was my first time being on my own here. Uh, my first year was very, very challenging. It was very hard to keep up with everything, school and living on my own for the first time, because it's not just school, actually, because you have to, like, uh, you have to learn how to do your grocery shopping, cleaning and cooking and trying to get everything on top of each other and trying to stay, like, on your feet with school and your social life at the same time and your friends. My first reaction when I, get, when I go to Brussels, uh, first of all, I saw that Brussels was too quiet for me and um, and I saw too many white people uh, normally uh, I used to hang out with uh, black people so that was a big difference I saw too many in gigantic buildings normally in Africa and Nigeria where I come from uh, we have uh, bungalows so uh, it was a big difference I found it really difficult because I don't speak French or Dutch, and I only speak English. I mean, it took a couple years of French, but it didn't, I wasn't prepared for this. Uh, so it's kind of hard trying to talk to people and just kind of find your way around when you're in a new place. Definitely the transportation is not what it's like in the States. Yes, of course, there were times when I got uh, homesick, uh, especially in the trams in the morning when everyone starts speaking French and Dutch two languages that I'm trying to learn and it can get really frustrating because people talk and you cannot understand them so you have the impression that they're talking about you. As is always the same the first day of school, felt a little bit alone, wanted to make connection with some people as quick as possible. That worked out quite well for me. I mean people in the school are very friendly, very helpful when you, when you ask for help. It was a little bit shocking when I got here because I wasn't used to not being around people that spoke English and uh, it was a little bit of a difficult time for me at first to transition. The only thing I can talk about is potatoes. Too many potatoes. It's not like potatoes are bad, but <laughs> too much is too much, you know. The way that the meat is cooked over here, there's still blood in it. I don't get that. I cannot eat bloody meat and so it's sometimes a hard problem in restaurants when you want to have your steak and it comes back and it's bleeding. I definitely had an easier transition than everyone was telling me that I would have had. Belgium is a multilingual, multicultural place and it was a, I was able to find my own place within it. It wasn't really what I expected because, um, well, you would think that most people in Brussels would understand some Dutch, but my experience is that they cling to French a lot. Um, 
So the experience with the city was kind of new to me. And then when I came to Vico, everyone spoke English, which again was something completely different for me because I was used to going to classes in Dutch. Um, and people always say, oh, but your English, it'll be good enough because I had English in high school, um, like everyone else in Belgium. But it's still something very different when you actually have to think in English. Um, so you might say that it would be hard for people from other countries when they come to Vico, but it was pretty difficult for me as well. Going to Vico was completely different because I go to school with like 38,000 people and now there's, what, like 38? So <laughs> it was a huge difference going down to that. 